So today we're going out to Golden West Swap Meet, which is actually one of Ricky and I's favorite swap meets of all time. Huge. I actually didn't realize how big the swap meet was until we were actually driving by and I was recording the footage. I'm like, this place is giant, Jer. I had never been here before until I started watching uh, NES Pursuit and I've been coming ever since I started watching. So we're here, we've been here. I've never, I, I'm one of those guys that I've never been late in my entire life in, to work. In my entire life, I've never been one minute late ever in my professional career of working for like 15 years now. Oh, good for you! Ricky, we all know, shows up late everywhere. He's useless when it comes to that. And Jer now, we told him to meet at 6.45 at 6.47. Stupid Jer. <laughs> What kind of people show up late? Like seriously, what kind of people? What's your excuse for being over seven minutes late? Seven, what, you guys aren't even here yet. We're still like 20 feet from the swap meet. I legitimately think they spray painted it. How's it look? Brokeback Mountain. I'd rather get this. Michael Jackson meets Mr. T. <laughs> Come on. Did you open it at least? Yeah, see yeah, anything in there? It's just a copy of the burn game. Who would burn NBA 2K2? That's such a waste of a blank disc. Actually, I love that NBA 2K. <laughs> I don't remember 2K2, but 2K is really good. I object, Your Honor! All right, a couple though? things I'm seeing here that's pretty cool. Brutal is actually kind of fun. It's like, it's a fighting game. Ricky and I have actually played this quite a so bit. So one of the things that I love to look for at Swap Meets are box Genesis games. I love box Genesis games. The boxes last so long. They're typically in really good shape. Um, enjoyed it more than we thought. But two other things I'm seeing that I really think is cool is this, X-Files figurines. X-Files is coming back for six it is runs. Back. And even better, Bart Simpson. So while we're cruising around, I run across something that is super exciting for me to run across, and it's a Bart Simpson doll, still kind of intact, looks like it's still fully in the box. I myself, I love The Simpsons. Simpsons has been something I've been into for a very long time, from collecting the DVDs to having Guys Night. How much is this? Uh, seven. Seven bucks? Would you take five on this? The guy actually says no. Offer six, but normally when I pull out $20 bills and big bills at the swap meet, it doesn't work in my favor. I'll take six. Six? But this actually worked out in my favor because when I gave him the 20, he said, oh, screw it, and he just gave it to me. He gave me back 15 bucks, so for five bucks, I think I'm gonna do that. You can't be Bart Simpson, like, intact still. Intact box. Bart, boxed Bart. Well, I, I'm just a big fan of uh, original Simpsons. That's pretty cool, I've never played that. Game? You, been, you know? I've never played it, to be honest. Came across uh, one today that I hadn't seen before. Looked like a platformer. Do you want? I don't. I don't need that. Ricky? What? I'll take it if you don't want Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Ricky, I'm you want offering this? Ricky. You're like, screw Ricky. <laughs> uh, I asked the guy what he wanted. I think $5 is the magic number uh, when it comes to a box Genesis game. And then I'll always try to argue him down. I don't push too hard of a bargain, but uh, if I can get it for 3 or 4 uh, I'm happy. Ricky, this is the last time we're bringing Jer with us. And we settled on four bucks. I haven't gotten squat. I'm not talking. Dude, these are rare. <laughs> By rare, I mean they came with every single Nintendo console you could purchase. Uh. Take off his arm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's, That's cool. pretty sweet. You gotta love that. Aaron Ball Z, Gohan. Nothing even Gohan. Vegeta. This is Aaron's favorite guy, Vegeta. Right, Aaron? Love him. He's the guy that does that, uh, what's that thing you showed me? Oh. 
Gohan, Trunks, Ting. Feels so cool knowing all these names. All right, so we're walking around and I think like, like five booths over, I see this Mario toy just like this. And I know exactly what it is because every time I go to OCC, Aaron asks the same guy how much for this Mario, this, this Mario that holds a DS. And he always says 40 bucks. And I'm like, dang, what's wrong with this guy? So I, I spot it and I'm like, Aaron, dude, Mario, the film. But of course, Aaron has the camera, so I get dibs. <laughs> to be honest, I more care about the aspect of production of the show. ¿Cuánto? ¿Doce? Toma 10 por él. You just go over there, the guy wants 12 for it. I offer him 10, why not? And I got this sick Mario statue. I forget to translate sometimes. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Ah, por favor. I know Jared wants it too, he's been, he's been, I, both of them have been looking for one, but they both kind of gave me like the stink eye when I got it. I've been looking for one of these things for a while now. I collect these things. Ricky knows that I collect these things. Ricky has seen me buy these types of things before. And instead of pointing it out and saying, hey Jer, look at that Mario. I see him just running off towards the, towards the vendor that's 40 yards away. He didn't even say anything. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was a good feeling. Real good feeling. It's like it's right in my neck. So this is a top loader NES. asking $45 for it. It has no cords, it has no controllers. I think that's quite high, but um, as everybody knows, uh, these things are crucial if you uh, like old school Nintendo games. So, Ricky has one. Aaron, do you have one? Yeah, I, oh, I guess we've all got one. Oh, he's, I gave one so, to him. I guess we don't need any, but uh, what would you guys pay for this without any cords, any controllers? What do you guys think? 20 bucks, that's what I would pay. 20? Yeah, I would say no more than no more than, no more than 20. Man, I just missed the camera. If I would have hit Aaron, would have killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky and Aaron had wandered off. They were moving on. And I see this box of stuff that looks like it might have some gaming related stuff in it. I think I saw uh, maybe a PlayStation game on the top or a controller or something like that. And I dig a little bit. And lo and behold, there is uh, one of my holy grails, something that I really want. And that is a blue Sega Game Gear. And I always wanted one because I really like the color blue and it, it looks kind of unique. I pull the thing out. This is the uh, blue Game Gear. I think it was a special release with uh, the Lion King. I always wanted one of these when I was a kid because it was blue. And it's in great shape. The buttons are in great shape. The screen's in great shape. Uh, it's even got a, um, a Sega branded uh, extra battery pack. Then I decided to you know, try to see what, what uh, they're looking for. I asked the lady and she says, 25 bucks. How about this guy? 25? 25 bucks a little bit high for a Game Gear when I don't know if it works or not. Did you guys do 15 on this? No? Okay. So I'm a little bit hesitant here and uh, uh, I, I'm not sure I'm gonna do this. So I walked away. 15 was it for me. Dude, if you're not gonna take it. You're gonna do it for, I think they said 25 or something like that. Would you do 20 on it? So Jared, 15 bucks. It was a good deal, but you know, I'd rather go 20. They said 25, 20, they wouldn't want to take 15. You bust out the Spanish, that's $5 off, come on. You seen the juego? I got the game. 20? Do it? You do you want it? No. I probably shouldn't get it because this is pretty much knocking me down. Dear, see, Spanish. Esta cochita tan flaca. 
quita este pedacito de tela. ¿Cómo? Classic Ricky. While we're roaming around, and the day's been pretty good to us overall, actually this is one of my more favorite days as far as finds, I come across a box Wii. Now I don't need a Wii, but I will say when I come across them at the swap meets or flea markets, 99% of the time, they're pretty crappy, they're not intact. This one had the box, had accessories, everything was clean. Would you sell just this? No. Oh, okay. How much is the whole bundle? 120. For, oh, for all yeah. this? Yeah. Does this come with it? What is this? This game, thanks for game. Oh, extra games? Oh, it has games? I think that's what she said. I actually ended up not snagging it, even though I wanted to, but the price was a little too high for me. This movie actually did really well and was a really good movie. I ran across The Simpsons movie, which is one of my more favorite cartoon movies out there, especially TV show to actual movie theater. Um, super successful, and we're seeing a lot of Simpsons stuff today, and it's getting super tempting. Did really well. I thought it was gonna be the end of The Simpsons and they were gonna screw it up, but no way. The freaking Simpsons is rocking more than ever. This is Ricky reminds me of Mr. Smithers. Mr. Smithers. What? I'm, I never was good at Tetris, like, in any way, shape, or form. I've never understood, like, puzzles in my brain. I think I'm over-intelligent. Uh, I'd feel a lot better if I had got that Mario that you got. I'd Same feel here. a lot better. Well, what about here. the Game Gear? I'm feeling okay about the game. I've already got a really nice Game Gear. I always wanted one. I don't have blue one, though. So I'm feeling kind of a little bit sad about that. Feeling blue? I'm feeling blue? a little bit blue, but I can always take it from Ricky when he's not looking. That's true. I can take it from Ricky. <laughs> so today we don't have a cameraman necessarily. We got three of us, but Jared's not really in charge of being a cameraman. And these boneheads are basically giving me the camera 90% of the day because, to be honest, I more care about the aspect of production of the show. So I'm kind of standing next to Ricky and I see Jer jump over at these 64 controllers. And I can hear Ricky under his breath say, stupid Jer, because Jer picks up like the steam gray, charcoal gray color. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Ricky's been looking, I know he's been looking for one of those for a while because it's the only one he doesn't have on his giant wall. Now, when they picked him up, they had a lot of electrical tape around him, but they couldn't actually find any like cuffs or ripping or carriage. This one, you have to replace the whole cord. Look at this cord. Look like a dog got to it. Eight dollars? Oh no, five dollars. Sometimes people once in a while with electronics wrap their cords with electrical tape just because they feel it's a little safer. I don't know if that's true or not. Someone probably got the console. Look, so the controllers are here. Everything's here except for the console. Someone just bought the smoke gray console. It's the only one. You guys ever seen the show when we used to film at my house? I have, I have all the N64 controllers kind of like this. I'm missing this one. A ton of them actually. This one's busted right now. And they did buy both of them. Five bucks. Jer's was, I think, two bucks because it had like a little pack in it. I'm not sure what was in it, to be honest. What else? Right. I'm gonna take a chance. I guess I'm just okay. buying it for looks. Then we'll see later on if it's ripped or not. I'll let you know. Yeah. I'll start he throwing it in the bag. Yeah. Jer, what was it? I have no idea what it is. We still don't know. We're gonna find out. But they bought them both. Except for this. I don't know if it's cut. I hope it's not cut. You guys do refunds, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you let me do three for this? Sure. Okay. Of course I got the better deal than Ricky. Serves Ricky right, he screwed me over on that Game Gear. And he won't give me this cool Mario that he found. But it's just annoying because half the time I'm just carrying the camera and the episode and I'm like, I'm supposed to be on the show. I'm supposed to be loved. I'm supposed to be somebody. But I'm not. No one even cares. <laughs> You know what sucks is the one thing I wanted out of everything. Nice and heavy, nice and clean. How much you want to hey? Disney <laughs> Enchanted Princess. How much you want to bet it's in the Wii here? Where's the Wii? Well, I just looked through all this and it's not in any of these. No. I dug through each and every one of these looking. So first we go to this booth. The guy has a pink Dreamcast controller, sick. And I asked how much, he goes, two bucks. I'm like, oh shoot. That one, uh, two bucks. Two bucks? How much would you? Two bucks. Not bad. And I see Aaron's eyes light up and literally walks over to this. That's when he walked over and got this boxed Mario game. That was pretty sick. Aaron's just about to kill me right now. I really am. When I saw the Super Mario Deluxe in the box, 
this guy was already cheap. I heard Ricky asking him some prices earlier. He was super cheap. I mean, okay. how about the uh, Mario Bros. Deluxe box? That one, that one's six. Is the game yeah. in there? Yeah, the game's there, but it doesn't have the plastic. I mean, the insert thing. Before. Has the manual? It doesn't have the insert, but for anything that's boxed, in my opinion, that's cardboard-based box, those are hard to find in decent condition. That is awesome. What about? Would you do five on that Super Mario Bros. Deluxe? Sure. All right. Sweet. Can, does this open? Yeah. Okay. So to find the box with the game, I'm grabbing it, no matter what. There's not really a question. But not only that, in that case, there was like a, you can barely see like the hint of a weird colored GameCube game. I look at it, are these in Spanish? Yes. That is sick, look at that. They knew Ricky was coming. <laughs> Paper Mario, La Puerta Milenaria. Dude, that is awesome. Y era un, um, un GameCube juego para the Paper Mario. It was awesome. I can't. I want to play Mar Paper Mario Spanish, but I'm not paying 10 bucks for it. Is that one Spanish too? Yeah. Which one, Mario? This one. Yeah, uh, $10. Yeah. Mario, Parto. In Maglio, that sounds like, um, what, what, like Greek? In Maglio? I feel like it might be like some sort of Simon Says guy. Wait, does it have wheels? No, oh, it's remote oh, control. What's small? Petite Working circuit? Well, Wait, yeah. What is this? What is this? Hey! <laughs> He's all, I don't know. El robot. Yeah, venta. Will this take over the human race and kill all of mankind? <laughs> So one of the things that uh, I've been looking for since I started going to swap meets is the special edition Halo original Xbox and we came across one today. I was pretty excited about it, started talking to the guy and the, you know the thing with these consoles is you never know whether or not they're going to work. The wires and the controllers and stuff. The cords, the cords aren't hard to find. The wires, you know where the uh, no plug. The other, the other one. You're you're taking your you're taking a chance, and you have to figure that into the price. So I always try to look for physical indicators to see whether or not this they're going to work. And as I was looking at this Xbox, I noticed that there was uh, rust all over on the inside of the metal shielding. Water damage. Question. If you have a regular one, can you just switch out? Potentially, yeah. In my mind, not just a little bit of rust, but you know, quite a bit of rust on there. And to me, that's indicative of water damage, moisture, and potential problems with the boards and stuff like that. Water damage, probably, of some sort. It looks like that on the side, too. It's really rusted. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like it's a gamble. Uh, the guy originally said 25. I came back with 10. He said no, or I think five, maybe even, and five. And I and he said no. And I said, well, look, you know, I think you need to plug this thing in at home, see if it works. So at least you can tell people it works, because I think it's got water damage on it. And I don't think it's going to uh, fire up. Yeah. Yeah. Let me take it home and check it. Check yeah. it to see if it works. So then Jer passes it up. <laughs> Five bucks, dude. It's a Halo Xbox edition. I, I go back to the guy. The guy's like yelling at his son. I was like, dang. Uh, see, no, I just got on an Xbox 360. I know what it is. That I know what He's all bitter. I'm like, hey, hey, chief, would you take ten for that? He's like, yeah. Like, all right. So thanks, Jer. Jer goes in there, butters him up for me, and leaves. And I just go in there and swoop it. 10 bucks for Halo Edition Xbox. If it doesn't work, whatever, it's cool. Uh, it's a nice paperweight. He doesn't like that. Classic Ricky. You want to talk about temptation? Something that tempts me all the time is horror figures. Horror movies is something I'm obsessed with. When I watch a horror movie almost every, probably four a week, I watched one last night. Extraterrestrial, decent, wasn't the best. Freaking more of this, dude, 24 7. The thing is with like horror toys, is it's like I'm super passionate about horror movies. But this place we run across has a ton of horror figures, which always makes you wonder what other people out there collect horror figures. I mean, they had Chucky, they had Jason, they had Freddy, they had Michael Myers. This is true nightmare inducing. You just wear one of these, walk in on your wife in the middle of the night when she's trying to sleep, done. Get the divorce papers out now. 
and they were all clean, but another thing that's hurting me again is they were overpriced. They were wanted like 20 bucks. How much are the to How much? Not that bad. I would think about it if they were in the box. How much is it in? 20. They definitely have, ooh, Dude, sweet. Someone just walked out with Chucky. Really? But I don't know. How much are these ones? 10 each. 10 each? But picking up the Bart Simpson earlier, intact for five bucks, it kind of makes you, sets you for like a bad day of wanting to pay more for deals on things when you know you just er earlier got something for like five bucks. So, I had to pass. Overall, today was a good day. This has been overall one of my favorite days game hunting. Not even so much of the stuff I got, but I just had a fun time today. It was one of those days where the vibe feels good. And I did get a few games that I enjoy, but I also have come to realize it's always about the games. Friendships don't matter. Friendships don't get you this. Ricky would be a better friend if he gave me the Mario, but uh, I suppose I'll still talk to him anyway, even if he doesn't. Like Ricky said, I mean, friendships are dwindling on this show. Just remember that. I don't really, like, care about people or games anymore.